Hello everyone and welcome back. On this video, I'm going to show you the different loopback modes that we have available in the URC range of interfaces through the DSP MixFX app. Loopback mode allows you to stream your inputs and your music online through any app that you want. And on this video, I'm going to show you which loopback mode is right for each application. So let's get started. To begin with, let's talk about why you would want to use loopback in the first place. Let's say you want to go online and do a webinar. Let's say you want to do a live music show. Let's say you want to do a seminar. Let's say you want to have a conversation with somebody and you might want to exchange ideas. You might want to play some music. These are all reasons why you would want to use loopback. And depending on what situation you're under, we have a separate loopback mode for this specific situation. Let's take a first example. Let's say I want to do a webinar and I want to show some things on Cubase. In this case, I would like to stream the audio from my microphone and I would like to stream, of course, the output of Cubase. Or it could be Spotify or it could be iTunes or you might be a DJ and you want to stream your set. Let me show you how to do this. Let's take a look at the DSP Mix FX. This is right here, the app for the UR22C in this case. And this is where you set your loopback mode. Right now it's in off, so it doesn't do any loopback. Now, in order to do the things that I just described, we have two modes. We have live cast and voice chat. So let me explain the difference. Live cast is great if you want to do a workshop, if you want to do a webinar, if you want to do a presentation and you're going to have an audience and you want them to be able to hear you through a good quality microphone that's connected to your audio interface. In this case, I have the UR22C and I have my microphone connected right there. So this is going to be streamed live but maybe you also want to stream live the output of your DAW. So let's say it's a live cast and let's go to Cubase. So in this case, I have Cubase here. And now using this mode, I'm going to stream the audio from my inputs and the output of Cubase. So my audience will be able to hear my show, my webinar, in pristine quality. The other great thing that this mode offers is that it takes into account all the settings that I have set in the mixer of the DSP mix effects. So for example, if I add my channel strip here and you see the sound completely changes, so I have nice compression and EQ and I can use my morphing channel strip to change the sound. This is going to be streamed live. Or if I, for example, change the mode here on my UR22C and set it to stereo, you will see that now it takes into account these settings as well. So it will stream left and right channels independently. And that's great if you want to stream your synths, for example, or a stereo instrument. Let's go back to mono. And just to give you an example, I have OBS here, a very popular streaming application. And as you can see, I've set up my loopback as the input for OBS. And you can see that my microphone goes there. But if I play something on Cubase, this will also be streamed. So this is the ideal setting if you want to do all these things like play live, do webinars, do a live show. Let me explain a little bit the second mode that we have. The second mode is called voice chat and this is what it says on the tin basically. Imagine you want to have a conversation with somebody or you might do a seminar where both parties are going to be talking. That's when you want to use voice chat. The difference with voice chat is that only the inputs of your interface are going to be streamed. They're going to be broadcasted. Why would you want something like this? Let's say you have an audience and they want to interact with you and they want to talk to you. What happens if you have Livecast activated, their audio will come through the app that you're using. It could be Zoom, it could be any voice chat app, and then it will be looped back to them. So it might be confusing. You might experience some feedback loops. So voice chat, avoids that completely because you will see that once I activate voice chat, I still have my microphone input in OBS. But when I play something from Cubase in this case, or it could be Zoom, it could be any voice application, you will see that the audio that comes out of the application doesn't get looped back into the stream. So you won't get any of these weird echoes or feedback effects and you will have a much cleaner 
an easy conversation with somebody else. So this is the difference between the two modes. Like I said, livecast is great if you are the only person that needs to be heard and you want to stream the output of your applications and the inputs. And voice chat is great if you want to have interaction with somebody else, you want to have a conversation, or you might want to get questions. So with the DSP mix effects and the two loopback modes, you're pretty much covered for any application when you want to stream live.